So first things first, if you haven't watched part one, make sure you go watch part one and then come back or you can watch it after you're done watching this one. But anyhow, just make sure you watch that video, like, comment, subscribe, and share if you feel like here, uh, sharing. <laughs> and I'm gonna start this off with hand soaps. So we just finished the holiday season. Well, we're still kinda in it, but anyhow, you know what I mean. This is the soft soap, and this is a ginger cookie, you guys. Um, I picked this up on clearance for like 24 cent, and I don't know if this is the last one, it may be, um, but yeah, so it doesn't really smell ginger cookie-ish or holiday-ish or whatever, because y'all know I don't like a lot of holiday scents, but um, yeah, we finished it. The thing. next few soaps that I have are from Bath & Body Works, you guys, so this one is the Bath & Body Works Purely Clean Bergamot and Wild Lavender. I'm not sure if I would repurchase this one again, but it was okay. I also picked up and finished the Deep Cleansing Hand Soap with Coconut Oil. And this is Fiji White Sands. And I did like this one. I do like, like the Creamy Lux and the Deep Cleansing Hand Soaps best. Um, aside from some of the aromatherapy, I do like foaming, but we finished this. And then in the Creamy Luxe Hand Soap, we finished a uh, French Lavender. I also finished one of the um, Scent Booster Crystals. This is the In Wash Scent Booster Crystals. And this is from Clorox Bruganzia. Um, I picked this up from the 99 cent store, as you can see, for $1.99. I don't think that I would repurchase this. Um, it smells really good. The scent on this one is lavender and eucalyptus. The um, the container smells super, super good, you guys. But the scent is not last or like lingering in your clothes, but this container will really fool you. If you smell this in the store, like, oh my God, it smells so amazing. Like that lavender and eucalyptus is just so relaxing. So, it was kind of disappointing that it didn't really like give the sip boost that it was supposed to because I love the smell of this. Then from in the Glade um, Air Freshener, we finished the Cashmere Woods, you guys. Um, I would suggest picking up some of the Glade scents or sprays and different things like that. Um, because like the room sprays at Bath & Body Works, for all of you Bath & Body Works fans that are watching, <laughs> the room sprays are now $8.50. They're on sale today as I'm recording this video for $6. $6, that ain't no sale. Don't nobody want to buy no little bitty room spray for $6. At least I don't, I'm too cheap for that. So I will be stocking back up on my Glade air fresheners, you guys. Now let's talk about some of the candles that I finished up, you guys. So the next few candles that I'm gonna show you are from Bath & Body Works, and I do have a few from other places. Um, I did finish the Frosted Cranberry, which last year was my favorite holiday candle. However, the quality of these candles have gone down, I'm telling you. so. Yeah, I'm gonna start looking for alternatives. It took me forever. I've never returned a candle, but this candle made me want to go to Bath & Body Works and return it. Look at the inside of this candle. Look at how it burned. It burned horribly, no matter what I did to the wicks, no matter what, like it burned horrible. And you can see there's like a lot left in there. And I think the throw was not as strong as it was last year. And I love a strong scented candle because I like to put my candle out and I wanna be able to walk in the room or walk into the house and smell them. And I didn't get that this year. So disappointing Bath & Body Works, disappointing. Moving on to Cranberry Pear Bellini and I kind of had the same issue with this candle. So I was like, you got one more time. 
one more time and somebody going back. Look at how this candle burned. Eventually I got it to burn a little bit better, but that's, that's horrible. That's horrible. And there's a lot left in there. That's horrible. But I was finished with it. Was done playing with this candle. And the cranberry, frosted cranberry. Just done. I also finished the um, aromatherapy. This was Focus, you guys. So of course you know that this was a candle that I had in stock because they have changed the name back to Stress Relief. So eucalyptus tea is what this candle is, you guys. Eucalyptus tea started off as Stress Relief, changed to Focus back to stress relief and the packaging as you know on all the candles go back and forth and back and forth and change and change and change <laughs> but this candle did burn very nicely and i really did enjoy it and i usually burn the aromatherapy candles like in my bathroom or in my room or whatever um so yes i did enjoy this one Get this I also finished a turquoise waters and I don't know why I didn't pick up another turquoise waters I love that smell it's like really relaxing and clean to me yes I really love that um it burned all right as you can see one um wick burned way better than the other two and there is Still quite a bit in here as well um, but it did burn pretty decent so I'm not gonna complain but those are all the Bath and Body Works candles these little cranberry cake um, candles I picked up from the grocery store Albertson Safeway whatever um, I picked them up for a dollar last year um, and these are the last two I believe I finished burning this year they burned um, they burn pretty good actually. I don't know if you can see down in there, they burn pretty good. They have a nice little light throw, blended in with the other candles. Smell pretty nice. The last few candles that I have are um, Dollar Tree candles, you guys. So this is one of the cupcake candles that they um, have out from time to time. I'm burning another cupcake candle now. I can't remember which one. Um, this one is a buttercream. Oops. Now. This is how a candle's supposed to burn. Okay, Dollar Tree. Will y'all let these other places know how this candle's supposed to burn? Look at this candle. This candle burned amazing. Um, so yeah, this was a really nice little candle for a dollar. Um, and yeah, it doesn't say, were these old Williamsburg? Yes, these are the old Williamsburg scented candle in the cupcake form. I typically only purchase old Williamsburg scented candles from Dollar Tree. Um, yeah, so these next two are the guava coconut, and I just kind of burnt them just to burn them. There we go. So these are the guava coconut, and again, come through Dollar Tree. Look at how these candles burn. This how candles supposed to burn, right? This how candles supposed to burn, and it had a nice little light throw for a buck, so. I need to be stocking up on some more of the old Williamsburg scented candles. Um, I typically do, the only um, candles that I will purchase from Dollar Tree that are not old Williamsburg are like the coffee candles. I do like the coffee scented candles um, and I typically like to burn them in the kitchen. But yeah, you guys, this is it. So this is a wrap for part two. Um, as far as speaking on candles, I am gonna try to bring you guys a candle video on some alternative candles because um, there are a few places that have some really nice candles um, for cheap, much cheaper than Yankee Candle or Bath & Body Works, and they get the job done. So yeah, I will come to you guys with that video very, very soon. But in the meantime, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share, and I will see you guys and talk to you in my next video. Bye.